Alright guys, so I see this theory floating about in the community and some of you have been commenting on my videos regarding Boruto being the child of prophecy rather than Naruto that Jiraiya talked about. Now after looking into this, I do understand how some people have come to this conclusion and may think this is the case due to the many similarities between Boruto having a prophecy too. However, I will be debunking this whole concept and explain to you how this isn't possible so that no one is confused anymore after after watching the video and you know me explaining everything so as always just like these lovely individuals in the community tab that commented their opinions regarding the topic be sure to put down what you think in the comment section below regarding the video So starting off the video, I do understand why some fans are confused because both Naruto and Boruto have storylines that involve a prophecy but people are missing key details. Boruto is the star of Hope who gained his prophecy from Momoshiki and Tonori whereas Naruto is the prophet child that Jiraiya knew about from Gamamaru the Toad Sage. Firstly, we all need to be on the same page before debunking this so I will be explaining the original message Jiraiya received and what it meant. The Child of Prophecy was a term created by Gamamaru the Great Toad Sage when he was speaking to Jiraiya. It was explicitly stated that the Child of Prophecy was someone Jiraiya would teach. This list could include Minato, Nagato, Naruto for example, and only these candidates can be one of the children of prophecy. Unless Jiraiya is still alive or comes back to life to teach Boruto his ways, then Boruto can become a candidate for being the Child of Prophecy and I guess that's what some of these Boruto fans are trying to say so that they can give this theory some validation. So I'm going to try and explain to the best of my abilities and debunk this whole theory. Originally the Great Toad Sage had a dream about Jiraiya and explains to him that in his vision he saw Jiraiya become a splendid ninja even though he was perverted right? He also saw him acquire disciples, this is plural meaning more than one, so we all know this is true so far. The sage then explains that one of the disciples will one day bring about a great change to the world of Shinobi. They will either bring great stability or great destruction, the likes of which the world has never seen before. One of those two changes. The great sage states again that Jiraiya will be the one that guides that revolution and he will be forced to make a critical selection that shall decide which way the world goes with the change that the disciple, disciple will bring to the world. Jiraiya then asks the great sage what does he do to make sure he does the right decision? He responds by saying that in his vision, he saw him walking in the world and writing books, but he didn't know why, but he saw it as a sign that Jiraiya would travel widely in the world, seeing all things in this universe. We also find out from the prophecy that they all come to be true one day. Gamomaru specifically says that the very moment that he is speaking to Jiraiya and him having right now is a prophecy in itself that he had beforehand. That a human child would one day wander into the mountain and will be granted sage mode and a prophecy. From all this knowledge, we can already say Boruto isn't the child of prophecy Jiraiya talked about since he has to be the one that guides the path and train the person into who they are. The prophecy also states that Jiraiya would become a person that writes books. His final book of the gallant ninja is about Naruto, a person that actually changes the world, thus fulfilling the prophecy even more. It also says that through Jiraiya's travels that he would become a person that has seen all things in the universe. This relates back to Jiraiya being the sensei that guides the child through his wisdom and the view and his view of the world. Through Jiraiya's traveling, going through two wars, training the likes of Nagato and knowing their perspective and suffering, training Minato to become the Hokage and lastly Naruto to deal with his hatred and suffering and the Nine Tails issue, he gained the understanding and philosophy of Ninshu at his older age. Jiraiya through his teachings to Naruto usually explains that kindness is not some attainable virtue that we should all strive for, but it's actually a natural occurrence that happens to people who have suffered. Only when you have truly suffered can you truly care about the suffering of others. The teachings of Ninshu for example were meant to give people a better understanding of themselves as well as others and lead the world into an era of peace which Jiraiya accomplished through teaching Naruto his disciple. Jiraiya believes through communication and learning each other's ideologies, culture and feelings is that we can truly be peaceful.
人間はなあたとえ無駄話でも日々誰かと会話しないと心が陰にこもっていくもんじゃ誰かと会話をすればおのずと周りとの絆を感じ自分が生きていることへの感謝も思い出す長と友達を守ったお前は正しいことをした傷つけられれば憎しみを覚える逆に人を傷つければ恨まれるしそういう痛みを知っているからこそ人に優しくできることもあるそれってどういうことどうするか自分で考えることだ When Jiraiya dies, he literally confirms it himself Naruto, you are the child of prophecy I don't know why Kijimoto would write this dialogue just before he dies if it wasn't going to come true since it was such an impactful moment in the anime that caused a chain of events in the future and also provided a lot of character development for Naruto Uzumaki to become the person he needed to be that brings peace fulfilling the prophecy in the first place right? Furthermore, in chapter 449, page 5, Gamamaru, the Great Toad Sage, literally confirms that Naruto is the child of prophecy he was talking about, but he did a mistake. It wasn't a child, but children of prophecy. He states, Although I never thought two of Jirai's disciples would both turn out to be the children of prophecy and both become leaders of a shinobi reformation. So, yes, this means both Nagato and Naruto are the people that fulfilled this prophecy. However, Naruto's one goes even further and beyond. Naruto chapter 489, page 13. There is a scene where Naruto is speaking to the Toad Sage Gamamaru. Gamamaru explains to Naruto that he will meet the Eight Tails in the future and he will end up fighting a young man with great powerful eyes. Naruto responds and acknowledges all of this and accepts his fate, saying he knows who that young man is. This further confirms that the prophecies Gamamaru states are somewhat accurate and true, since Naruto wasn't surprised at all when Sasuke Uchiha decided to fight him in the end. Naruto, from the very start, before the brink of war, before it even started, knew he had a prophecy and that he would change the world to make sure there is peace. Take a look at the scene again. Naruto isn't surprised at all that Sasuke betrays them, whilst Kakashi and Sakura are. Naruto knew his prophecy was coming true. Gamamaru also gave Hagoromo the Sage of Six Path a prophecy, stating that a mischievous blue eyed boy would unite the tailed beasts and change the world. This is stated in Naruto chapter 673, page 12. As a result, once Hagoromo comes back, he states himself in the manga and anime that the prophecy that he knew about was indeed Naruto and that he was destined for greatness due to his perseverance that makes him become stronger with many people's help, similar to his son Ashura. Hagoromo, the Sage of Six Paths, also confirming Naruto is the prophecy child, helps fulfill Jiraiya's words of wisdom which he passed on onto him, making the series come full circle. If you guys can remember what Jiraiya said to him. The shinobi world allows is ruled by hatred, and hatred alone. However, even I'm able to see. There's entirely too much hate in this shinobi world of ours. There's too much hate? Uh, I've always wanted to do something about all of this hatred. I'm just not quite sure how to go about it as of yet. But I truly believe that eventually the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Boy, it sounds kind of complicated to me. And if I can't find the solution to this problem, then perhaps I'll entrust you to find it instead. Hey, Naruto? Yes, sir! I can't turn down a request from my master, can I, Furby Sage? So, Naruto, how would you confront this hatred in order to create peace? 
Naruto is the child of prophecy who truly understands everyone's suffering, so much so that it breaks his own heart whenever he sees it, and he needs to make it stop, like how he explained it to Sasuke Uchiha in the Valley of End that he feels pain in his heart for Sasuke. Obito killed Naruto's mother and father is so ridiculous, but Naruto sees past this act itself and senses the despair behind Obito's motivations. I mean for God's sake, Naruto cried after seeing Obito's memories and understanding his reasoning for what he, why he's doing what he is. Finally, only after Sasuke watches Naruto suffer as much as he did in their battle and sharing Ninshu and their memories, so you know, looking at Naruto's memories, Sasuke finally understands and joins him. Only through suffering can one attain true human kindness which is selfless. One day people will truly understand each other by communicating our thoughts, feelings and suffering, realising that we are all equal as human beings. This is one of the deeper messages of the entire anime. Kijimoto admitted himself in interviews that Naruto needed to become a forgiving person against pain, even though he killed Jiraiya. This is because it would allow him to eventually be able to forgive Sasuke Uchiha, which we all know Naruto intended to do. The future enemies are also included in this list, since it enabled Naruto to fulfill one of the requirements of the prophecy and stop him from being a hypocrite if he became the person that got his revenge on pain. If Naruto didn't forgive Nagato for what he did, then he, how would he forgive Sasuke, right? That's picking and choosing your moral code and being a hypocrite. Naruto is the only person that has brought the greatest change in the shinobi world by creating an era of peace for more than 15 years. It's the first time that the Gokage have been communicating to each other peacefully and friendly. Even Hashirama, the first whole Kage, couldn't do, uh, achieve this or do this. He had to beg the Kage to not start a war for himself and he had to spread the tail beast because they were so hungry for power. Naruto doesn't even have to do this. People genuinely love him and respect him for who he is and what he has accomplished for the whole world. Also, the way the manga is written, there is no way Kijimoto planned all of this and knew that Boruto would eventually be the prophet instead of Naruto. Th this theory makes no sense. Boruto's story only came to be after Naruto was already done and dusted. Why would Kijimoto make some future plan without anything being greenlit in the first place? Also, another point to debunk this theory is that Boruto already has a prophecy. Why would a character have two prophecies? That's not logical at all in writing. I'm not trying to be mean or rude here, but Boruto's story is his own. Boruto received his prophecy from Tonori and Momoshiki Otsutsuki. We all know for a fact that Tonori has somehow manipulated Boruto's destiny due to him inserting something into Hinata before he lost the battle. Urashiki even claimed to Tonori that he'd done something to Hinata's son. Also, I already covered this, but Boruto's genetics is already linked with the Utsutsuki way more than anyone else because he has inherited their genetics and a mutation has occurred. Boruto's prophecy involves aliens and about him losing everything. It's the opposite of his father Naruto. This is one of the reasons why the writers of the anime have also given him Sasuke as a sensei because Sasuke is also a person that has lost everything he loved. Since Sasuke is the right person with the wisdom that can help Boruto through this suffering once the story progresses. Naruto has already fulfilled every single requirement of the prophecy Jirai received and no one should spread this theory anymore. Get us out of here! Get out of there! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I explained something that you didn't know beforehand. I hope you enjoyed it. L let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Make sure to smash the like button, notification bell. And I'll see you next time in the next video.